Hey guys, uh, in this video, I'm talking about a very, very crucial question that a lot of you ask me about CAD prep. And uh, that is with respect to mock tests. And as you would realize, you should realize that mock tests is uh, one of the most critical elements of your test prep, test prep process. It's perhaps more critical than, than the time that you spend doing your theory. And hence, uh, you need to get your strategies uh, with respect to the mock tests absolutely perfectly in place. Uh, during a cat prep uh, journey and the cat prep season. So three questions that that uh, that emerge when we talk about strategies of uh, mock test taking. First, how many mock tests to take? Second, when to when to start the mock tests? And third, what should be my frequency of taking tests? Right. So so let me start with with the number of mock tests you should have. So a fair number uh, of mock tests that you should have should be around. 20 to 40 because for the first seven, eight uh, questions and what will happen in your mock test when you, when you start doing your mock test, your score keeps going up till a certain point and then it starts hitting a plateau and your score, depending on your ability level, that plateau is, is where your score keeps uh, uh, revolving. So some people hit their plateau in a net score of 180 to 100, others hit a plateau at 100 to 120. I even seen people hitting a plateau at uh, 150 to 180. My plateau is, for example, 230, 220, 230, which is why I get my 910.9998 percentiles. If I can take my plateau up to 250, uh, I'll get my 100 percentiles and so on. So, 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 uh, for the, I mean, in the context of how many tests you should take, your first eight tests will just, seven, eight tests will just be gone in terms of identifying where the plateau is. And actually, your cat prep uh, fight starts from there. Once I identify my plateau is 120, I'm hitting 120 regularly. But I'm not able to go beyond that. And it's a normally a 10-15 mark range where a plateau will be, depending on toughness of tests, etc. So once you realize that this is my plateau, the real fight in CAD prep starts, how do I raise this? How do I go from the 120s to the 150s? And hence, uh, when you talk about when should I start the mock test, the earlier you start, the better. Because uh, if, you, if you start, uh, I mean, if you talk about feasible points of time when you can start a mock test, May, June, July, August, or September are the feasible time frames that you can start doing your mock test for a November exam. So somebody starting in May or June obviously has a, has a stronger advantage because he realizes his plateau by the time he, if he starts typically frequency of test taking, you work on the three frequencies, one per week, two per week, three per week, and you vary that during the course of your preparation. So if you're starting in May, June, you can start with one test per week. If you're starting obviously in uh, July for, for the first eight weeks, you can start with one test per week. If you're starting in May, June, if you're starting in July, maybe you can just, just do four weeks of one test per week and then go to two tests per week. And August, September, you, 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 you might have to hit the ground running. You might have to start with two tests per week when you are uh, preparing for uh, your tests. So, so the whole idea then, then becomes, ki, okay, what if I'm, if I'm going uh, starting May, June, uh, six to eight weeks, as I said, eight weeks approximately on one test per week, followed by uh, four to five weeks on two tests per week, followed by the next uh, seven, eight weeks on three tests per week will get you to approximately uh, 40, 40 tests. And if you are starting in September and you are planning 25, 30 tests, September, say, uh, November, ke beach, 40 tests might not be feasible because test taking is not just about, uh, about uh, test taking. It's about testing, analysis. And going back to the drawing board, it's about three things. You test, you analyze, and you go back to the drawing board, work on something which is constraining your test scores, come back to the test. So you need some time for that. Hence, my advice is that when you're starting your test, first, first you define, okay, okay, I'm going to take 30, or I'm going to take 40, or I'm going to take 20 minimum. And then you, then you define, okay, okay uh, depending on where you are, if you're in September starting your test series, then obviously you'll have to start with maybe two, three tests. Three tests per week will be a frequency right at the start and hopefully you would have completed portion before that and uh, if you are starting in july of course two tests per week uh, after four weeks is okay one month of one test per week and and going back to the drawing board that's very important even in a three tests per week scenario you actually will keep going back to the drawing board and working on stuff because let's say a test takes three hours to take and analysis will take three hours so six hours if you spend on test taking uh, in a 40 hour work week uh, for CAT, if you are spending 40 hours in, uh, in terms of work uh, for the CAT, so in uh, uh, three tests will take you 18 hours per week. 
for the test taking, which will also still leave you 20 plus hours of self-development work and drawing board work. Of course, when you are in the one test per week cycle, you are just spending six hours uh, on the tests and you are spending th around 30, 35 hours on your basics and your, and your drawing board work. So whichever frequency you take, even if you take the three tests per, per week frequency, you still are going to spend half your time of preparation on uh, development of your uh, individual question types and, and uh, sorting out all the, uh, the hiccups that are happening for you when you're, when you're taking the tests. And one, one last thing before I, before I wind up this, uh, this, this lesson, and apart from the tests, you have also have to plan a lot of sectional tests. That is something a lot of people miss out on. So you have to have at least 10 to 15 sectional tests each on quants, DI and LR. DI, LR and verbal. And, and that should be part of your test, uh, test journey, uh, where you take at least 15, 15 uh, section tests on each of the areas. So um, at MindWorks, we are offering you the Arun Sharma CAD channel. This is a personally curated test series by me. And, and uh, when, 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 when we talk about mock tests, uh, CAD mock tests is not just built by putting questions in it. There's a lot of balancing act uh, that is required. The, the feel of the paper has to be similar to what you're feeling when you're inside the CAT, if you want simulations. Unfortunately, as you, a lot of you know, most of the institutes around offering uh, the mock test series are not able to get very close to the, to the actual CAT paper. Either they have very tough quants or very tough English or very easy stuff. Some, some institutes have very, very easy stuff. So at the Arun Sharma CAT channel, since every test is curated by me, not just in terms of the question creation, but also in terms of the balancing of the test that I want to give my, my student or my, my uh, solver the, uh, the, the ability to or the, the experience of actually having the same experience uh, in terms of the difficulty level, in terms of the movement possibility across the paper uh, as the cat actually uh, has. So my 50 plus hours of taking the cat there and experiencing that and when I look at it, at a question and I look at a CAT uh, paper or a mock test paper, I immediately realize how close as an experience it is to the CAT, whether I'm solving English or uh, DI or LR or, or cons. Now the Arun Sharma CAT channel series, and which is why I've, I've lent my personal brand name to this, to this mock test series of Mindworks. At that, in, that, in that mock test series, we try to get as close to possible, to, to the actual CAT as possible. Right. So, so I look forward to some of you joining and of course you get my personal mentoring also in this, in this test series with respect to what you should do. Because when you, when you talk about uh, the drawing board work, it's very, very specific. If you can find out the right things to do, taking your test to from 120 to 150 test scores from 120 to 150 might be a matter of, a, of maybe 10, 20 study sessions. And if you can, if you can identify what to do, then doing it is, is, uh, is easy, easy. Once you know the direction, you will reach the outcome, no matter where you are. So, so uh, with that, I hope this uh, lesson was, was uh, useful for you. Do, do spread the word around about us, about the channel, and about the uh, Arun Sharma Cat Challenge series. And do like, subscribe, and uh, comment on the video. I would look forward to your comments. Thank you so much.